Welcome to the Toolhound Learning Center, a set of resources to help you get started using Toolhound 5. In this video, we're going to walk through the steps to create a location hierarchy. At the top of the hierarchy will be your organization, and that will define the scope of visibility. Underneath will be your main tool crib or warehouse. This is the location that owns the inventory, where the inventory comes back to at the end of the day. Using this setup gives you flexibility down the road should you choose to expand. So to review, your organization will be set up as a non-stocking point, so it will act as an umbrella for the visibility scope. Each tool crib or warehouse will be set up as a stocking point because it owns the inventory. Log in to your Toolhound site. You might get a warning if your license hasn't yet been applied. You can safely click OK to disregard this for now. Click Locations on the menu to display the submenu ribbon options. Click Locations in the Data Entry section just beneath. You can click the arrow at the complete top right to hide the ribbon menu if you choose. Click the green plus to add a new record. Type the ID or code to identify your organization usually an abbreviation, then the full name below. Leave the parent location blank. Select Non-Stocking Location for the location type. Set the correct time zone. And then click Save. Your organization will now appear at the left in the location hierarchy. Click the green plus again to add another location. Type the identifying information for the main tool crib or warehouse. Set your organization as the parent to the tool crib. Then set the location type to stocking location. Remember to set the correct time zone as this affects all the transactions stored in your database. Click the Settings tab. Here we will apply the most common settings. Check Allow Negative Quantity on Hand. Check the last two options which enable automatic transactions. Set the Transaction Type and Return Status to the only options available. For more details on these settings, see the help documentation or ask your trainer. Click Save. Your tool crib is now displayed in the location hierarchy on the left, indented under your organization. Thanks for watching this video from the Toolhound Learning Center.